I want you to listen. Last week, Wednesday, last week, Wednesday, we prayed a prayer point. Last week, Wednesday was the 14th of December. We prayed this prayer point. We're going to play the prayer point. And those of you who remember this prayer point, who were with us online, last week, you remember, I want you to indicate in the comment section, Pastor, I remember this. As you hear, there are a number of you who will remember this. Let's listen to the prayer point. And then we will hear the audio testimony that we received yesterday, which was also connected to a decree that God released yesterday. Listen to, first of all, the prayer point. God bless you. Next one said, good morning, Pastor. Please help me to pray for my niece in Tanzania. She is 26 years old and just fell sick now in a coma. Uh -uh. 26, just fell sick. Her blood pressure is high at 26 and blood sugar also. She cannot recognize her children and husband. She just faint. Please join me in prayer. I don't want to lose her in the name of Jesus. We command the attack on that your knees out of our body. Everybody speak life. Speak life. I speak life upon your knees. Life that yoke of death that attack to take her life. We have bought that attack. We stop that attack. We speak life. Go to my house. We rescue her from the jaw death. We snatch her. We snatch her. Jesus makes you up completely. Now, in the name of Jesus, you are free. In Jesus' precious name. And everybody say, Amen and Amen. There are many of you I can see in the comment section indicating, I remember this, Pastor. Yes, I remember this. Yes, I remember this. Yes, I remember this. Just last week, 26 years old niece in coma. Coma. High blood pressure and all of that. I was thinking, 26 years old. Can't recognize anybody gone. The auntie that sent the prayer request, she's based in Austria. The niece is in Tanzania. And it was a terrifying situation. We passed the decree on this order. That was last week, Wednesday, the 14th of December. Yesterday, in the midst of the prayer, I wasn't thinking about that even prayer prayer because see a lot of prayer prayer. A decree went up, but wait. Yesterday afternoon, we received a testimony. I want you to listen to the testimony. You know, when the testimony came through, we have a pile up of testimony. We said, let's share this one tomorrow morning because it's fresh in people's mind. Listen to the testimony. It's an audio testimony and see what our God has done. And as you are listening, the prophetic words that are being released from this altar this morning will deliver your own also. In the name of Jesus, let's listen to the testimony. Hello, hello, good evening, Pastor Moses. Here, Gisela is speaking. I have come again to this altar to exhort the name of the Lord to bring back my testimony and my thanksgiving for what the Lord has done for me. God, He has done it again. From this altar, God has answered again my prayers. I'm so overwhelmed. I don't know how to begin to thank God. I really thank God. He have done it again for me and my household. On last Sunday, it was last fri Friday, my, one of my niece, she just felt sick. They didn't know what was going on. And she felt on coma on Saturday. They took her to hospital. She was not to to be recognized again. She didn't know anybody again. She just fell in coma in the hospital. They say she have sugar. The sugar was too high. The blood pressure was too high. She was she was just not there. She didn't even recognize her children. But on Tuesday, 
I have sent my prayer request to this altar, this exalted altar. God is really here. God is walking in this altar. The God of Pastor Moses. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I sent my prayer request. The pastor replied to me and I came to this declaration. Then they prayed for me on 14th of December. I was not at home. I was at work. I, con I reconnect when I came back from work in the evening. And I came to this all the declaration the pastor was giving on this altar concerning my niece. And the pastor he say she will come back again. He, he rebuke all the, the, the kind of this uh, demonic devil. He, he rebuke it. And I came on it and I called my mother. I told my mother we are praying for her. She should hold on. God has already done it. We just wait. So immediately when they i think this was the time they are they, they were praying in the in the morning but me i was not connecting i was at work my niece jumped out she came back she just jumped out so it was around 11 o'clock my sister called me me i didn't pick because i was at work she wrote a message she say sarah my, so my niece is sarah she says sarah is looking for you I say me. I just I just read the message and I answer myself. I say me. I say God. I know, Pastor Moses. I pray. It was the prayer the Pastor Moses pray. That's why she jumped back. And so I called my sister. My sister told me exactly the time Pastor Moses was praying. What my niece came back to life. She she started recognizing everybody. She started sitting. She started asking something to drink. They was all surprised, you know, be, be, from nowhere, from nowhere. She have just jumped out. She, she just came back. She just came back like that. So my mother now starts saying, okay, we have to just take her slowly. slowly. Maybe they, they thought maybe, she, maybe she, she have gone crazy, you know. But my niece have just come back. She was well since last Wednesday. But they didn't discharge her from the hospital. They say they should, so they, they leave her in the hospital because she was even in the oxygen. They should start, they should leave her in the hospital so that they start watching us slowly, slowly to see how the progress will be going on so that they can, they, they can look at the sugar and put the sugar in order to see, you know, because our sugar was, our sugar level was just up and down 28.5, 28.2. You know, it was just going up. That's why she felt in coma. It was just going up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah? I, I knew this was the demon, but God have intervened. So today, today in the morning, when pastor was praying, I, I say, this somebody in the hospital, he decreed, he say, this somebody, they, was, they are discharging her. They are discharging this person in the hospital. Somebody, you have a relative in the hospital, terribly sick. Hear me as I speak. They will be out before Christmas Day. Before Sunday, they will be out of the hospital. Healed. Oh, I discharge them now on this altar. I discharge them. I discharge them. I discharge them. I discharge them. I discharge them now. I was like, this is my niece. I said, this is Sarah. I killed this. I say, this is Sarah. Sarah, today they are discharging you. You are going out. So, just like that, it was not even half hour. It was not just even half hour. My sister called me. I didn't pick again because I was driving. I was on the way. And then I saw, when I parked the car, I saw the message. He wrote a message. He said, they are discharging us. We are going home. I say, what? This is the God. This is the God I want to serve. The God of Pastor Moses. He have done it again for my family. So as now I'm talking, Sarah is at home. She's with her children. They are jumping. They are celebrating. They are jubilating. Thank you so much, Pastor Moses. I have come to receive, to, to bring the glory to God again. Because... 
my mother even myself i was i i was so i i didn't know what to do my mother didn't know what to do because me and my mother we are the one who have taken care of these children they are my sister children but i'm the one who have taken care of them with my my mother so they're like they they they, they are our children they, they you know they call me mom you know i was i was my mother we we have lost we have lost uh, my niece my, my my nephew 2019 19 years old the boy just went in coma we didn't know what was going on he have just passed on 21 days he was in coma in the hospital until the doctor said please take your child we, we don't know what to do with him we don't know what is wrong with him they took him back to home four days later my niece died just like that 19 years just like that so it was it was like things are repeating it himself my, my niece is 26 years old how this this we in my family we don't have this history of sugar and blood pressure blah 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 we don't have this all this thing in my family i don't know what this thing came from and because pastor moses i pray i know i know and i know the, 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 the level of sugar will be normal she will never suffer again yeah i really thank god this is for this is for my this is my my christmas gift god god have done it for my family i did really thank you all the family of SSPP family thank you for joining us thank you pastor moses for sacrificing yourself praying for us encouraging us everywhere praying for us declaring things to our life to our family i really really thank you and i pray that the oil on your head will never run dry you can see the way God is using you, whatever you are saying, whatever you are declaring. Since I have joined this altar, my life has changed totally. Anytime I connect, anytime Pastor Moses says something, it really comes to pass in my life. This is my experience. And that's why I really, I really respect this altar. This is, this, this, I don't pray with this altar. I don't play. I don't play with this altar. Anytime I come to this altar, I know God will do it for me. Yeah, it's, I, I only miss the prayer when I, I'm at work. And when I come back in the evening, I always rewatch re the prayer and continue. So God bless you, Pastor Moses, you and your family, your lively wife, Pastor Chioma. God bless you with the children. God bless your ministry. God bless you. Wherever you will go, God will protect you. God will honor you. God will bless you. God will... We, God, God will remember you in any area of your life. God bless you. Somebody, did you hear that? This is why we say, and indeed, Zion has prevailed. Yes, indeed, what God has spoken about you and your family on this altar, it must manifest, it must come true. It must come to pass. It got to happen. Receive your own. Let your own happen. Let your own manifest. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus.